this idea of Tala as a um, temporal organization of music, this is quite uh, unique to Indian music. Mm. The word Tala uh, occurs in very ancient texts, it is one of uh, a very ancient concept really and we find it in Natya Shastra and um, in the Natya Shastra um, the word Sangeeta actually uh, it is used to refer to Gita, Vadya and Ritta that is song, instrument and dance. In Natya Shastra if you remember it is a treatise on theatre and music, dance and instrument they were all part of theatre. Now Tala comes into the picture because that is the, the principle because of which these three elements can come together. Unless there is uh, such an ordering principle, there can be no coordination between uh, the singer and the dancer and the instrumentalist. So this is the Tala is the external reference point, it is the reference point, it is the uh, ordering principle. Now in to, to uh, give another example, in western classical music you have the conductor who, who manages the orchestra, the orchestra will consist of violinists and cellists and uh, a pianist and all kinds of instruments. The conductor, one of the main um, roles of the conductor is to set a tempo and maintain it. Now he or she is the external reference point for the music, for all the musicians and they have to take their cue from the conductor uh, gestures. Now of course Tala is much more than just a tempo there is a, a cyclicity, a certain, um, as I said, duration which repeats, which recurs. So in the Natya Shastra, the, the, the Tala is uh, seen like this, that it is the factor, that Tala is the principle because of which these three elements can be organized because of which they can come together. The Sangeeta Ratnakara for instance says Talaha Tala Pratishthayamiti Gitam Vadyam Tathan Rittam Yatas Tali Pratishthitam. So Gita Vadya and Ritta they are based on Tala that is they are grounded in the Tala and that is the base. Tala is in, so the word Tala is seen as being derived from the word Tala. Tala is the base as the uh, anything upon which anything can be constructed. So that is the ground principle, Tala is the ground principle on which uh, these three elements can come together. Tala actually has had a long and complex evolution and um, we have different systems of Tala in India. We have the North Indian systems. In Khayal we have in Drupad. Uh, Tumri has another set of Talas. We have um, what are called Navasandhi Talas. We have uh, a system of 108 Talas that are supposed to be very ancient. Then we, in Karna current Carnatic music, we have uh, the Suladi Sapta Tala, which is a very um, prominent Tala system that is used. And besides that, we have the also the Chapu Talas. Oh, we will talk in detail about these. But the a couple of features that are common to all these Tala systems, these are all various systems of Tala. Now, what is common to all these things is all these Tala systems is that uh, they have the concept of Avartana for instance. Avartana is a very fundamental concept. Avarta or Avartana means one cycle of the Tala. So Adi Tala which is what we have been saying is a cycle of eight beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This avartana, this is one avartana of Aditala. And as much as we have to maintain the, the discipline of, of pitch or of raga, we have to maintain the discipline of the avartana. And avartana cannot be trifled with. It has to be maintained at all costs. And you will see whenever a performer performs the tala, he or she will always stop only after returning to the first beat of the tala cycle. So in fact, the word avartana uh, derives from the word avritti. Avritti means returning, recurrence. We speak of so many avrittis of any mantra, for instance. So that is the act of repetition, that is avritti. And um, Aditalam has, uh, is an avartana of eight beats. You have other talas like Rupaka Talam, which is a cycle of six beats. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is Rupaka Talam. You have Tala like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an avartana of seven beats called Mishra Chapu Talam. In uh, Hindustani music, we have Teen Tal which is which is an avartana of 16 beats or ektal which is an avartana of 12 beats so this concept of avartana is a very important fundamental concept that uh, um, that all tala systems have it is simply the number of beats in one cycle of the tala and that recurs this avartana keeps recurring as the word itself means recurrence returning and in Carnatic music, the smallest avartana, the tala cycle with the smallest avartana is, is uh, tishra ekam. We will talk more about it. It's, it's a, a cycle of three beats. That is the smallest possible tala cycle. And the, the longest, longest tala cycle is... Um, 29 beats. This would be Sankirna Jati Dhruvatanam. As I said, we will talk about all this. But there are other Tala systems, uh, like the 108 Tala system that I just referred to. It's a very ancient Tala system. We have Talas with Avartanas up to 128 beats per cycle. And that is, this is called a Simhanandana Tala. Or you have another tala with a very odd number, Sharabhanandana tala, which is 79 beats per cycle. So, whatever it is, the concept of avartana is very fundamental in all these systems of tala. Now, the other important um, concept is that of sama. Sum, the first beat of every tala cycle is called the sum or the summum, and that is also uh, a very significant point aesthetically, technically. That is that has a very important uh, role. In fact, if you watch a performance of Carnatic music or Hindustani music, the tala cycle will only end on the first. You come back. You, how many other avartanas the performance has gone into the particular piece? It will come back, it will not stop anywhere in midway. It will have to come back to the first avartana. And only there it will, it will have to come back to the first beat of the avartana. That is a sum. And that is where the piece will be ended. Now, another um, very important beat in the Tala cycle, especially in Carnatic music, this is of great significance and that is called the Graha or the Idupu. 
this is the point where the composition starts. Now suppose you have an Adi Tala. Vata Piganapitam. Vata Piganapitam. So the Adi Talam starts with 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. The song, the composition also starts on the first beat. Well, this is so in this case the graha or the yedupu or where the composition begins is the sum itself, the sama, the first beat of the tala cycle. So this is called sama yedupu. Now Adi Tala itself, let me take another composition which you have heard earlier in this course. Nadatanumanisham Shankaram Nadatanumanisham Shankaram here, one two na da. It's not na da. It's not like that. One two na da. So if each beat, if you divide it into four, one two three 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 four, one two na da. Anubhishu. So this is called ara. Graha, the 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 yedupu or the big commencement of the song composition is half into the first beat. So this is a particular kind of graha, and this has to be maintained throughout. You can't tinker with it. You can't move it here and there. The composition's integrity in terms of the music and also in terms of the tala structure has to be maintained. Now, another composition. Sarasi Rukha Nana Sarasi Rukha Nana Ramaya Sarasi Rukha Nana Ramaya Sarasi Rukha Nana Ramaya Sarasi Rukha Nana Ramaya Samaya Mubro Chikana Sarasi Rukha Nana Ramaya Samaya Mubro Chikana Sarasi Rukha Nana So here the yedupu is 1, one 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, that is half into the second beat of the tala. So, one beat is gone, the second beat half of that you pick pick up the composition. Sadrasi rukha nana ramaya sadrasi rukha nana. So, these are different kinds of yedupas. You can even have an yedupu or the graha before the sama itself. This is uh, another composition where the composition starts just before the sum. Or in this composition. Hadine 
ಹರಿನೆನೆಂದು ಸೊರಿ ಹರಿನೆನೆಂದು ಸೊ ಹರಿ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದ ಸಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಡಪ್ಪು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅತೀತ ಎಡಪ್ಪು ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರಹ ಆರ್ ಎಡಪ್ಪು ಆಫ್ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವೆರಿ ಏನ್ಷಿಯಂಟ್ ಒನ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಸಂಗೀತ ರತ್ನಾಕರ ವಿಚ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಸಮೋ ಅತೀತೋ ಅನಾಗತಶ್ಚ ಗ್ರಹಸ್ಥಾಲೋ ತ್ರಿಧಾಮತ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ದ ಗ್ರಹ ಆರ್ ದ ಎಡಪ್ಪು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಇದರ್ ದ ಸಮ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಗಿನ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ತಾಳ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಸಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಹಾಫ್ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅ ಹಾಫ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಅನಾಗತ ಗ್ರಹ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಅತೀತ ಇಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ದ ದ ಗ್ರಹ ದ ಕಮೆನ್ಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಿ ಸಮ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಡಪಸ್ ಗ್ರಹ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಿಕ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಗ್ನಿಫಿಕೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ತಾಳ ಸೈಕಲ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಅ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಈವನ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಪ್ರಾವಿಸೇಷನ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಇಂಪ್ರೋವೈಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಪ್ರಾವಿಸೇಷನ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಆಂಕ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಿಸ್ ಗ್ರಹ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಅಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಥ್ರೋಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಸಮ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ಥೆಟಿಕ್ ಚಾಲೆಂಜಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ದ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ವಿಟ್ಸ್ ಹರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಲಿಸ್ನರ್ಸ್ ವಾಚ್ ಲಿಸ್ನರ್ಸ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ತಾಳ ಲೈಕ್ ಆದಿ ತಾಳಂ the mid point of the tala is also important in compositions that is called the aridi and normally the accent the weight of the composition will fall there also for instance nada tanubandisham so in some way the accent falls on that sham nada tanubandisham so that is the midpoint of the tala cycle the midpoint of the tala cycle is the fifth beat 1 2 3 4 5 so nada tanumbandisham shankaram nada or mata pigana patim so that's where the weight falls again the accent falls on the midpoint of the cycle some tala cycles like as we will see just rupa katalam the it cannot permit of that kind of an accent because rupa katalam is 1 2 3 4 5 6 a very well known composition in this is again tyagarajas ತುಳಸಿ ದಳ ಮುಲಚೆ ಸಂತೋಷ ಮುಗ ಪೂಜಿಂತು ಸೊ ದ ತಾಳ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತುಳಸಿ ದಳ ಮುಲಚೆ ಸಂತೋಷ ಮುಗ ಪೂಜಿಂತು ತುಳಸಿ ದಳ ಮುಲಚೆ ಸಂತೋಷ ಮುಗ ಪೂಜಿಂತು ತುಳಸಿ ದಳ ಮುಲಚೆ ಸಂತೋಷ ಸೊ ಇದು ರೂಪಕ ತಾಳ ಕಾಂಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಸ್ಯಾಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ರಘುವೀರ ರಣಧೀರ ರಾಜಕುಮಾರ ರಘುವೀರ ರಣಧೀರ ರಾಜಕುಮಾರ ರಘುವೀರ 
It is slower uh, pace. This is Rupa Katala. Another popular Tala that we often see in Carnatic music is Mishra Chapu. Mishra Chapu is a very interesting Tala and it lends itself wonderfully in uh, improvisation also. Mm, Mishra Chapu is like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six. <laughs> Matangi Mama Vinayaki Raja Matangi Manikya Malaki Pani Maguravani Marali Veni Mama The composition of uh, Muthuswami Dikshidar. It's a very short composition. The next part of the composition is like this. You see how that the composition is spread over this Tala cycle. lines each of a few compositions and you could try to see if you can make out whether it is I'll only sing Adi Thala or Rupaka Thala or Mishra Chapa Thala 
There are other talas we will see about it later. But between these three, I will just sing a few compositions and you can take it as a, as a small exercise to try to figure out what tala it is. One way is to try to figure out how many beats are there between each repetition of the line. Nadasudarasam Bilalunadasudarasam Bilalunadasudarasam Bilalunarakritaya Pradavanadasudarasam Bilalu Narakritaya Pranavanada Sudarasam Bilalu This is part of one composition. Ganamurte Shri Krishna Bedu Ganamurte Shri Krishna Bedu Gana Nola Tribhuvana Pala Pai Ganamurte Shri Krishna Bedu Gana Nola Tribhuvana Pala So these are three compositions that I have sung, parts of them of course, only the first part of the compositions have been sung and they are in three different talas, you can just try to listen to them again and again and uh, see if you can identify how many beats are there and with that help it's, it's an easy guess for you about what tala these compositions are in. <laughs> 